Hey everyone, what's up? This is BattleQ314 here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit unusual. So it's been nearly four years now since I've beaten every single Ultimate Time in Marble Blast Platinum, so I was thinking maybe I should just do a video where I just beat all the Ultimate Times and add some commentary, talk about some strategies and tips. I guess you could say it's an unofficial Ultimate Time guide. Anyway, let's get started. So the first level we have is Let's Roll. And the ultimate time is 2.4 seconds. So how do we beat that? Obviously not hit the pole. Let's try that again. Okay, 2.333. That's fast enough for us. Not spectacular, but okay, I guess. So let's move on to the next one. Jump tutorial. Now this one is actually pretty hard because you have to do an edge hit off this step, like kind of like that, but get a little bit more height and you have to time it well, otherwise it won't work. This might take several tries, but... Ah, that's what we're talking about. All right, on to the next level. Nope. Go to Gem Roundup. I always think Diamond Roundup because they changed the names of diamonds to gems and they changed all the level names too, but it's called Gem Roundup now. But the strategy to this is there's actually a gyrocopter behind that. Shoot. Let's try that again. But there's a gyrocopter behind that pole hidden there and you can use it to help you get from the bottom to the top and then jump into the finish when you're done. So let's do this. All right. Let's go to the next one. Learn the friction. Wall hit. It's not fail. But all you have to do to get this one is do a wall hit and then jump like that. Easy. Training towers. Whoops, we went too high. This one's all about timing. It's been a while since I've played this, so I don't remember exactly what the what my timing strategy was. And then sometimes you go too high and you miss the finish, which is not great either. You basically have to time the super jump like that and get the super speed. Yeah, that wasn't a great time, but still good enough for ultimate, so let's move on to the next one. Gravity Knot. So here we go. Okay, let's make sure not to screw this up. It's really not that hard. But you have to jump all the way across and it'll help you get, and you can get to the finish sideways. See, the ultimate time is 6.50, and we got 5.63, so we cleared it by quite a bit. Still nowhere near my best time, but let's move on. Flight of the Marble. This one, for the most part, is not too bad, but you need to really just... You slowed down too much there. You need to slow down at the right place so that you can... Start reversing. Still haven't pulled off this sign hit on this level, though. 
that people use to get sub 10. Sometime I'll do it, hopefully, and get a sub 10, but... Shoot, we missed it. Let's try this again. Maybe I'm a bit out of it, but these ultimate times really aren't that hard. The trick is you want to Seriously? This is kind of embarrassing now. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's go to the next one. Teleport training. Ah, yes, this one. So you basically have to just go into the teleport. And then bounce like that into the finish. Let's go to the next one. Busy B. So you have to basically climb up this flower. Not screw up at the end like that. I remember having a hard time with the ultimate time on this level at first. Okay, we got it. Bouncy floor. So most of these ultimate times are pretty mechanical. There's not like a whole lot of obscure tricks that you really need to know. To beat these. Mostly diagonal movement. And then jump tutorial, I have to do that edge hit, but most of the rest of it is just going, going fast and not fooling around. Like that. You got another ultimate time on bump your head. Learn the wall hit. Okay. It's another So that wall hit, that second wall hit, you can either wall hit like this, like that. Or you can wall hit onto the side and land on top of the trim wall. But that's how you get the ultimate. So let's go on to learn the time travel. Formerly learn the time modifier. So the most popular way people beat the ultimate time on this level is actually by using an edge hit at the start. like Kind of like that, except you actually go over the wall there, but... So let's try that a few times, but it actually turns... There's actually a less popular way, but there's a different path that doesn't use the edge hit, but still will get you an ultimate run. But let's try to get the edge hit, because the edge hit will give you a much lower time. Because there's an, a bad time travel that'll add five seconds of your time in that tunnel 
if we keep going. But if we do an edge hit here, we can skip it. And then you can get like a time in the one second range. But it is kind of tricky, and since I haven't really practiced, this, this video is kind of impromptu a bit. I didn't practice at all. Because a lot of times when I practice, I can get into like speed run mode. And then I just get used to the timing from doing it over and over and muscle memory. And I can get consistent, but if you're just playing levels like this, it's harder to do that. Ah, that's how you do the edge hit. So you have to do an edge hit like that. Then you want to do a wall hit here and grab this time travel on top of there. Then you can get that gem and get the time travel back in that corner and do another wall hit. And then there's a four second time travel there. And there's another one in this tunnel. And there's a third gem. And then the last time travel, you can do a wall hit here and grab that one. And there's a gem, another time travel, and there's the exit. And that gets us by the ultimate time with no troubles. So let's go on to learn the random force. So the, this one actually is kind of tricky, but the main trick to learn the random force's ultimate time is that you have to exploit the ice platforms and hit the sloped edge. And then you can go flying up like that, and hopefully you can get across. And we beat the ultimate time there, too. So let's go to the next level. King of the Marble. So this is kind of a pathfinding level. There's lots of ways you can get the ultimate time on this level, but my favorite way is to use the current world record path. And I miss that time travel, but I can get it later. And just use your favorite path. Like that. And clear another ultimate time. So let's go on to magnet training. Ah, this is a tricky one. So one way you can do it is just use the full path, and another way you can do it is by, you can also do an edge hit. And there's another way which you do a sign hit, but that's much harder to do, so I'd say either do the full path or hopefully we can get a nice edge hit and then it'll get, get a low time like in the five or six second range, but it's not always that easy to do. But then again, ultimate times in general are not that easy to do, so... Are you kidding me? That could have been a decent edge hit, and then... Eh, let's try it again. We came that close, so... Might as well go for the edge hit for style points. Even if you don't really need it for ultimate time. That was another close call, too. Yeah, I know I throw in unnecessary edge hits here and there, but, I mean, they're kind of fun, and they make the video a bit more interesting. You can see, like, the actual struggles of marble blasting. The intended way to get this ultimate time, though, was actually to do the full path, but the edge hit just... If we do get an edge hit, we're pretty much guaranteed an ultimate, so... Because the ultimate time on this level is, like, 10 seconds. If 
we get an edge hit, we can get in like the six second range. Mm, hey, what's okay? That wasn't so good. I think maybe if you edge hit across, you could try to use that other magnet to help get up. It's like we got an edge hit on jump tutorial, we got an edge hit on learn the time travel, so let's try to get an edge hit here too. Maybe I should just give up on the edge hit. Or not. Haha. -ha. And that was a pretty good time. Like 5.74, if you use the edge hit path, is actually very good. Uh, ground zero. This level is kind of stupid because the ultimate time just relies on basically just getting a lucky new kit. We actually came really close that time, but we have to do it again because it's 2.75. But basically, you just want to hit the nuke. Maybe try to hit some signs. There are the poles. But this one's pretty annoying. Because a lot of the times I do this new kit and then it like hit, I hit like some signs and then I end up going in the finish. But it's like I really know no any consistent any way to like get this to work consistently, which kind of sucks. I don't think you're supposed to be able to get this one consistently. I think it's just supposed to be kind of random luck. Because there are a lot of players that have ultimate time on this that don't have that many points on the overall leaderboard. And there are a lot of, a lot of top players have like low ranks on this one and much higher ranks on other levels through the involvement of the rng okay it's not exactly random number generated but since the nuke is really small it's hard to land your position on the nuke perfectly but let's just hit the wall Because a lot of my new kits, they like hit the pole and then hit another pole and then it bounces into the finish with like a corner hit, which is, looks pretty cool when you actually watch it, but it just seldomly works. So. It's kind of frustrating to try to do.
too bad that one that was at the very beginning that came close didn't quite make it. That one was kind of close, I guess. So I've had new kits that are like that, but they go in the finish. And then there was that too, but that went too high. Direction was right, though. But you have to, like, hit the nuke at the right point, or else it'll misfire and you won't end up anywhere near the finish. So that's why this one's very annoying to try to execute. That one, if it was a little more power on that wall hit, maybe I would have made it. All right, we got it. But yeah, in my opinion, that is one of the most annoying ultimate times in this game because it's very inconsistent and you basically just have to get lucky and hope that you'll get it. So let's go on to the next one. Recoil training. This one is a little bit tricky, but... We already failed at that time. But basically what you need to do on this is control your spin and just land directly on top of the gems like this. that and that's another ultimate time completed so let's go on to mini mountain ah this one or should we do it the fun way you know what let's try to do it the fun way So there's this one way you can do it where you jump up, get the gem, and almost use it like a, and almost use those platforms like it's like a half pipe structure. And then by hitting the downward slope on one and hitting the, we got a little more height there, then you can hit the pyramid on top of that pole and mount ricochet off of it and land in the finish. It is tricky to do, but let's give it a shot. But it's not the...
Definitely not the hardest path for this level, but it's not the easiest either. That's how you do it. Okay. Next level. Like the... You can also get the ultimate time on that by just getting the time travel behind that slope in that hole in the wall and then just being able, and then using the other slope to just jump to the finish and that's easier but I just like style and then there's ramps and ramps is a pretty straightforward level to do and just jump Now the trick to this one is to get that gem in the center and then do a wall hit there. And then get the last gem and jump to the finish. Here. Shoot, I seem to be mistiming the jump at the end. There we go. See, the ultimate time is 22 seconds, so we have plenty of time. So let's go on to the next one, Diagonal Training. Considered by some fans to be one of the most frustrating beginner levels in the game. Because diagonal movement isn't like a, something that most non-speedrunners would be used to. Like in Marvel Blast Gold, there's never any need for diagonal movement. And if you played Marvel Blast on an Xbox, then diagonal movement just isn't a thing. Wow. We just barely made it that time. 21.98 and the ultimate was 22. But let's take it. Let's go on to the next one. Learn the edge hit. Like I said, this one... Here, I'm just try to avoid wasting too much time and make sure you get all those time travels. But okay, I think we wasted a little too much time there. But Maybe I should just try the four second path. But. Do an edge hit there. Shoot. 
Because another thing we can do, we can do if we hit it right, like that, we can hit the edge and then jump on top of that arch. And then if we get the jump right, we can get that gem by just jumping in midair, and that's how you do the four second path in them. You can just go so much faster. But it's actually pretty hard to do. Okay, we better get it this time. Okay, there we go. So the ultimate time is 13 seconds and we got 12.2. So this path can get you ultimate. So let's go on to another level. Hazard loop. Ah, this is a tricky one. And we just did the bumper hit. So now let's just not fool around. Ultimate time complete. On to the next. Keep on rolling. Now I'm not gonna try the super hard edge hit at the start path because I've only pulled that one off once in the entire time I've played this game. So instead we're gonna show you a good alternate path instead. And hopefully we'll get it to work. The idea behind the alternate path is to just do do an edge hit like that but get a bit more height sometimes if you do it you can even get the time travel all the way on top of that block and that's how you can get them you can get a time in the mid fours if in the mid to high fours if you do that but it's kind of tricky not super it's not super incredibly tough but it's, it'll take some time because you need to learn the timing and everything. So it's like that, but if you get more height, you can get the time travel too. And then, if you do, and then you can get the ultimate time by a wide margin. In fact, I've used it in a few videos like MVP 2007, the movie, and the 10th anniversary rampage from Raw Lost Platinum because I couldn't get the harder edge hit near the start to work for those. Because I only got it once way back in early 2016 for MVP level 6, but it's actually pretty tough. Okay, we got it. And that is how you can just totally smash this ultimate time. You actually don't really need to do that to get the ultimate time. You can just do a, even if you do a simple wall hit there, you can get to the fan faster and get a six point something time. I just like to do it this way because it looks cool and you, you can beat the ultimate time by a lot even if you don't get the time travel. So anyway, let's go on to the finale of beginner, Battle Cube. So there are lots of ways to beat this one under ultimate time, but my favorite is this path, which I've known for a long time. Like everyone. And for a while, this was the world record path until H Perks just totally ruined it with his crazy weird and you can just and even that path you can really just obliterate the ultimate time so ultimate time is 23 seconds and this path which was popularized in world record rampage number one just you can be it no problem so anyway that is the end of the beginner levels and i think i'll say that's the end of this episode so I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and 
Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and I'll see you next time and we're going to take on the intermediate levels and hopefully beat all the ultimate times. I mean, I've done them all before, so why not give another shot? Okay, bye everyone.